12 um, team members in total. We've got a combination of electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, industrial designers and um, diploma students as well who just finished their P2 training. Uh, here and there we have some undergraduates who join us as well. We, we brought them into the makeup. Some of them will be joining us for the race as well so we can have a sort of continuation model so after this they can take over from us and develop the next car. The university uses the platform in many different ways. We, we use it as an engineering platform so to train engineers to actually work on large projects. Of course it's a research and development platform as well and then it's a marketing platform as well. It's marketing the university, promoting engineering, science and technology. Um, so we use the cars to go to schools and to expos and various other avenues as well to promote science and technology as a whole. Basically what we did, we started with a, with a blank model and basically wind eroded the car away into the shape that you see now and focusing focusing on fillet ratios and leading edge ratios every single line on this car has a function to it nothing nothing is there to look pretty everything is matte what we have is a full on carbon shell on the outside with a, a foam core on the as a thin foam core around it and on the inside of it and then another layer of Carbon, and that gives you a sandwich panel, which is that makes the outside shell uh, pretty strong. But now that's not strong enough for um, the suspension and all that to hold on. So you have an internal structure that you put inside of that. That's also made of a composite structure on the inside of it, and that's basically the same as the outer skin. It's just a thicker layer of foam in between your layers of carbon. So basically yes, you try to get it as light as possible and as strong as possible and that all depends on the direction in which you actually place the material. Our initial design had a centered driver position. That makes wheel balancing and vehicle balancing and vehicle dynamics a lot easier to manage. But we found that there was um, almost a 30% decrease in drag when we moved the driver from the center off to the side. That's because, um, mainly because we had two converging, diverging ducts out the back, which totally messes up the air and that just wreaks havoc. You have to make sure that the driver is safe at all times. So we put extra layers of carbon around the driver, uh, thicker layers of carbon around the driver, and then also we put a layer of Kevlar. Because um, carbon do snap, but Kevlar doesn't snap. We've been sponsored with some of the best sales in the world. The difference between the two types of cells, gallium arsenide having a higher efficiency up to 35% and the silicone cells being between 24 and 22%. Uh, in terms of race regulations that limits you to 6 square meters for the silicone ones and 3 square meters for the gallium arsenide ones. With the 3 square meters you get less power in, about 300 watts less than everyone else but we can afford to build a car that's half the size. To me it's a unique, uh, unique experience that few people has. So I feel proud and I'm hoping for the best in, in our challenge and I'm hoping to win. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I think it's going to be an interesting week and a bit, the, the trip down to Cape Town, a uh, long way around South Africa, the scenic route. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. I, I think we've got a very good chance of doing well. Working on this project was just a great experience. I got to learn about different engineering material like composites and my hope for this, uh, for this project is that we should beat the world champs. It is a diverse project. There's no one particular thing that you do. So you learn to do so many things in a short space of time. I'm hoping I'm just going to get more experience and that will help me in the future. I think we do have a competitive edge uh, because our car is so much smaller and uh, I think we can compete well against the international teams and I uh, hope we win them. Well we have put a lot of effort into designing the car and building it. Uh, it's all done by hand by us um, and with the amount of effort we put in I believe we can win the race. <laughs>